<laughs> so now, too cute. You've brought all kinds of delicacies in here tonight. What are we looking at here? What kind of food is this? I don't. I don't know. I think it's mostly Chinese, actually. Where did Chinese, you buy it? At? I, I, I bought it at the quote unquote Oriental Grocery. Uh huh. Is that where you buy most of your food? I do actually buy a lot of food there. It's mm. very inexpensive. Now, a lot of the foods that you have here, stuff we can't even get in the states normally. Well, I mean, you could go if you went to Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> But yeah, these are all so. pretty different from the usual American fare. Yeah. Um, uh, we have like salted turnips, uh, tamarind. I don't know what this is. I wouldn't eat, I don't think I could eat any of these things. Do you, Fez? No. Everything looks really, really odd to me. Well, let's bring in the human garbage disposal. The man who likes everything, our own Harry Elvis. Harry, have you ever tried any of these foods? No, I've never really, uh, Delve into like food from the Orient. So <laughs> most of the stuff you eat is curds, curds no. away. No. <laughs> Are you eating curds again? No wonder those people want their own country. No, mostly it's he's eating curds. No, what does he weigh? That's his gimmick. <laughs> he weighs as much as ten curds. Mostly, I'm used to on my mother's side eating a lot of rice and beans and things uh -huh. like that. Ooh, right off her side. Well, Gomer, Gomer Pyle called me once a T-shirt back as soon as he can. <laughs> What the now hell is that? Thing? I can't believe it. He's, right, he's wearing a T-shirt, and then a T-shirt underneath it. He's got a Dego T-shirt on, under his regular T-shirt. Yeah, he's got the uh, the wife beater underneath. Yeah, how, what's how, that about? How many T-shirts? How many layers does it take to hide the man teeth? <laughs> Why weren't you in the dawn of my T-shirt contest? He needs a man's ear. <laughs> it's just, it was cold today, and I felt. Well, you are. <laughs> Right, why wouldn't you zip me out? Put the wife beater on the outside and look like you're wearing like a basketball player. Well, I had <laughs> suddenly I, you're playing for Temple. I had another <laughs> shirt over this before, so it wasn't. How many layers you need besides the flap? Usually, I just wear one. I just wear one uh, the wife beater and then like uh, just like a t-shirt on top of that. Then he also, it. besides that, he has uh, layers of sideburns. He's freaking me out tonight <laughs> with the wife beater underneath the t-shirt. It looks like you're in a sports bra. And it's showing. I'm working on that. Now you look good. All right, so what is he going to eat first? Too cute. What do you think he should start with? I think the, the peanut pasty care. I yeah, think peanut pretty... pasty care. That doesn't sound so bad. It looks very like uncooked flour to me, though. Yeah, it looks like a little floured ball. Yeah. Um... That's his Japanese name, little floured ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's give him a peanut pasty care. And describe it for us. All right, go ahead and eat that. What's well, the texture? Is it chewy? It's very chewy. And the flour's a bit, like, really, really dry, but it's not, it's not too bad. It tastes a little, like, brothy, like chickeny, almost. Shouldn't it taste peanutty? It really tastes like a solid chicken broth? It feels like I'm, yeah, like I'm eating a piece of chicken, like, out of a, a soup or a stew. Now, we don't worry about any of this stuff because it's... It's not made in America, and has it all been... It, there's a red flag on that one, so I don't know what that means from the health department. Yeah, <laughs> it, it says here in the bad uh, Asian translation, it says it warrants that our quality and packing is good. <laughs> if any defective or quality change was founded, please send <laughs> this poor product directly to us and state the time, <laughs> place, and store, and we will gladly replacement it. All right, what do these initials stand for? S A R S. SARS! <laughs> yes! SARS! Now you're spitting it out. No, What's the problem? I'm not spitting out. It's stuck to like, it's really sticky and it's stuck all over the inside. Like, I didn't he's even got get flour to swallow all over his mouth. You know, he's got dentures. <laughs> I didn't get to swallow anything. Right, you're going to have something to, to wash it down with. And this is really nice. <laughs> it's a can of soup. Nice. What kind of soup is it, too cute? Uh, peanut soup. Peanut soup. We're getting a lot of peanut goods here. Yeah. Like okay, we're in Plains, Georgia. Drink it straight like it's a beverage. You don't yeah, have to go ahead and drink it right out of the can. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ronnie, not only did it come right back out, he threw it on himself. What did it taste like? It really tastes oh, like... Oh, God, stinks. <laughs> like if you, if you uh, watered down peanuts and put them in a drink, it's That'd really... That'd take a nice big drink of peanuts. Doesn't sound juice. so bad. I know. Take a drink. It's got floaters on the top. Oh. That's, it's all over his second layer t-shirt. He just really lost it. Swallow. Swallow. <laughs> all right, come on. Oh. This is like Fear Factor. <laughs> you can't get down one thing of peanut juice. 
Oh, With God. this cow, it's like steer factor. I, I think I hurt something in my stomach. I should be throwing it up. <laughs> no, was... He pulled a muscle eating <laughs> soup. Forget if he's hurt. Take off one of the t-shirts. <laughs> Every time you don't eat something, you've got to take off um, <laughs> one of your shirts. It's strip eating. He was just scraping. He was just scraping the top of his mouth to get some of that flour out of there. That peanut flour. I didn't swallow any of that peanut. It's like all lodged in. All right. Well, then rinse with this and gargle. Gargle, then you don't have to swallow. Rinse with some basil uh, seed drink. Get it on anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and swallow. <laughs> You haven't eaten one of these things. Our guests are going to think you're rude. Stop throwing up. I'm sorry. I just. All right, what's the next one he has? What What do you got next? Too cute. If he couldn't get that down, I don't know if he's going to get the uh, yellow croaker and chili oil down. Yellow croaker and chili. Now, I, is I, that what croaker? I haven't figured out if it's fish or frogs. <laughs> All right, it's it's some sort of either fish or amphibian here. With croaker, I would think it's frog. Pezzy, did you smell that peanut juice? I could smell it, it from here. It smells like somebody rained on your peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is. It's like rainwater. I think it's good. <laughs> Just drink it. Rainwater your peanuts. <laughs> and finish it. Drink all your peanut juice so you're not going out tonight. <laughs> Would you quit spitting out the peanut juice? Come on. You're an intern. You're going to hurt too cute's feelings. You know, it kills me. Cigar Sid would love this. Yeah, he loves peanut soup juice. So, all right, what's his next thing to enjoy? What do we have? The, 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 the croakers? Now, what exactly is that? We don't know. It's frog? I, I know that croaker is a, is, a, is a fish that they eat a lot in China. But right, let me take a wolf of it. It, it says, Take a look at it. It does look a little amphibious. It says frog in French on it. It says grenouille. So. And that means frog? Frog. You're so smart. All right. It smells like bait. I'm not kidding you, Fezzy. I don't know whether you deep sea fish, but that's exactly what chum smells oh. like. Oh, give me a whiff. Give me a whiff. That's chum. And then you know what? The only thing that you can um, clean your palate with is peanut juice. Oh, God. You know what I mean? That's literally. Yeah, that's like, that big chunk of. I have basil seed drink with honey. Basil seed drink with honey should be nice for him. All right, first you're going to eat some chum. All right, get your spoon out there so you get a nice healthy piece out of the jar. That stuff stinks and it is in a thick oil. <laughs> I can't believe it's, anybody would. It is slick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. I think they got this from uh, where the hey. Valdez crashed. All right, take the jar for him. He's yeah. got a big spoon. Plenty of juice on it though. And you better finish this one. Yeah. Finish it, big man. Do it for Armenia. <laughs> there he is. He's chewing away and Don't loving throw it. your spoon Don't. out. It's the only spoon we got. Stop it. Come on. What a pussy. Uh. <laughs> uh. What? What? You like it or not? <laughs> he likes it. Hey, Harry. Harry, what's wrong? It's first of all, it's like all grease. Like if you emptied out a grease trap and just drank grease, and then the, I don't even know what. The, it's just like hard, like a almost like a stone of fish. And now it's, <laughs> a stone of fish. Like and now it's, I can hold on, that's it. gonna be the new name on my band. <laughs> stone of fish. Take, Did you give him fish stones? <laughs> all right, take another one. And you got it again. And you don't throw away the spoon this time, yeah. stupid. And have some gravy with it. <laughs> That's a good silver. <laughs> the floor looks like a Jackson Pollock painting on, a, on the floor. And there better not be anything on this I'll floor. I'll beat you to death. I'll beat you to death. All right, this one looks <laughs> that reminds me of going home this weekend. <laughs> this one looks a little more leafy, so maybe yeah. it'll be chewier. Leafy stone of fish. <laughs> go ahead. Come on, big man. Our let's go. Name. Running out of time here. You got a lot of food to eat. <laughs> God, oh, good. <laughs> Come on, you gotta finish one of these. Swallow, swallow. Show me your tongue. <laughs> oh, oh God, <laughs> he he was so close, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, his <laughs> big. <laughs> I can still like the smell now. This just the smell of the grease is making me want to. All right, so uh, now you're hurting people's feelings. Quit puking. Not that good. No, it's not so good. It's less than pleasant. All right, what else do you got? What's next up? Too cute. And you know what? You're getting all this food nice and free. You have nothing to bitch about. I know. Here's the thing. You take a pizza box home under your arm every day. 
Now you actually get some nice free food, some good stuff, and look how you're treating it. Um, how about some fermented bean curd? Chunk. Nice. With sesame oil. That's his nickname, Chunk. Cause it's, I'm going to feel this 10,000 year old egg while, while they're How old is that. it really? You don't know? It's just an old, uh, hard boiled egg? Boiled, boiled salted duck egg. 10,000 years. That can't be that old. It should be in a museum! <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you, what's wrong, Harry? <laughs> Why are you rubbing your eyes? You're going to get curd in your eyes. <laughs> I'm looking at the bean he hates curd. curd. <laughs> what's the problem? I'm looking at it, and it really looks like it's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Let me smell it before you do it. I think it smells a little like a colada, but that's from far away. I haven't... Oh. Let me smell it. All right, it's, um, it's really strong. Oh, look at the curd. It is really strong. It's really fermented. It does have like a nutty or beany smell to it. It's real. It's it's got a turpentine right. thing. Here's to the it. thing: you think you smell alcohol. It's not so much a pina colada, but you're smelling like a mixed drink. He thinks every drink is a pina colada. Listen, Rupert Holmes, she's eat your curd. I'll have a seven and seven pina colada. <laughs> Give me one of those beer coladas. All right, come on. Let's get it going, big man. Hey, by the way, your phone screener passed out behind you. <laughs> All right, Chunks, let's go. Oh, look at that old egg. Oh, look at that. All right, eat your curd. Curd. <laughs> oh, cook. <laughs> what is oh, your problem? Oh, God. Don't, don't lose that spoon. Why are you contorting? He's having a seizure. He's like a bulimic up there. He's having a seizure. Is that good or bad? <coughs> oh, God. It's like really awfully salty, like... Awfully and, good? And it's, <laughs> it's just all vinegar type thing. And it's just, I take another big bite because I can't understand what you're talking about. I couldn't even like Is keep it, it too in, minty? No, not minty. It's It's <laughs> sweet. It's just awfully like vinegary and salty and just... Oh, God, it's terrible. If you could describe it, you could quit eating it. Right. I'll try it again. I, didn't, I couldn't even like... Is the it like things, a greasy I, cup? It's extremely greasy, and it's... And it's, it's like the second greasy. it touched my tongue, it's all like salty. Is this like the, the China version of gummy bears? No, it's gummy not. Bears. Gummy bears are nice and sweet. This is like the opposite. It's, <laughs> it's the opposite of a gummy bear. Come on, Chunk, let's go, big man. Hit it hard. We're, we're in a hurry here. I'll try one more time. There we go. You're going to try eight. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Eat your card. Uh, <laughs> I will never get uh, Yeah. Why are you screaming? I want to get it out of off my tongue. <laughs> and Yelly's not going to do that. <laughs> oh, God. It's, you know... You've you've already insulted now it's, too cute, but now, now my feelings are hurt. Now it's on I, my breath and I can't get it. Now here's something that Mikey probably would like. It's a drier and it says drier olive. <laughs> a drier olive. But I can oh, find the dry ass. They uh you put those in the dryer, they make your clothes. <laughs> but, All right, so eat one quick, we're in a kind of a time thing here. And you're gonna end up with the ten thousand year old duck egg. <laughs> That's gonna be your last part. Oh nice, that'll be the finale. 10,000 years in the making, this show. It's I have a nice dry the yolk. And I want you to finish something. Go ahead, start chewing. Bite into it. Uh, ate it. <laughs> ate your dryer olive. <laughs> These are for dryer martinis. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> ate it. I think he's choking on this one. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I heard that come out. This is like Mama Cass in the, yeah. in the, in the bathroom. Except Mama Cass didn't have as big a broad size. I had a feeling. <laughs> Mama Cass was actually thinner. Did you like that or not? It was, of all the things, it was, I could chew on it until, and then when I tried to swallow, it wouldn't go down. What's the worst tasting thing so far? I have to go with that, that bean curd. What's your favorite thing? I, I guess the peanut first. The peanut. The one that you the peanut, 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 peanut soup? soup? No, not the soup. The, the rain other, nut. The first, uh, what is? Oh, the, uh, the, the, the the peanut paste. Oh, butter. the thing with the flour on it. Really? I, yeah. Now we have a. Now this is weirds me out. It says ten thousand. Wait, hold on, don't bite it yet. Old duck egg, and it's something boiled 
overseas and then send here. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. You know how around here you have to be so careful with eggs, salmonella, and everything? Here's one they threw in the cooker, decided to wrap it, and send it. <laughs> so, 10,000 years of the making, and this is a duck egg. Now, Too Cute has been nice enough to take part of the shell off of it for you, but something is oozing out of the egg. There is some sort of oil dripping out of the inside of this egg. It looks like the, the liquidy yellow part, but I see that that part is already hard from being hard-boiled, so I don't even know what the liquid is. Just think it's one of them Cadbury eggs for Easter this weekend. But this is only duck egg, salt, and water. And it's originated from certified flock number SY01022. The right. ducks are numbered. If you have a hard time eating it, just remember, it's real old, it's boiled overseas, and it came from a duck's poon. All right, I want you to lean over and take a bite, a big bite, plenty take of yellow. Take a whole big bite. Plenty of yellow in there, too. And I want you to finish this one. you got to finish something tonight. <laughs> All right, he, ate a, he chopped about a quarter oh. off of there. <laughs> you can't just explode a duck egg out of your face. <laughs> what is it? Ronnie, look at his hands. His hands are trembling. He's like self heim licking himself. <laughs> pay, 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 Kurt, pay. Get out of my land, Kurt, pay. I got some of that in my nose. It came when I... Spit it back up. Happy Easter. Yeah. <laughs> the, did you like that re better than our eggs or worse? Uh, a, a lot worse. Um, it really, I've never tasted a rotten egg, but I'm that thinking, one definitely was. Yeah. I, I'll try. I need it to be buried. You want to try another years. bite? I want to give it another try just to. <laughs> just eat the whole thing right away. Fear fact. Yeah, actually, just, take a, just take a big bite. I didn't get much uh, the yolk, the the yellow part in it, but I'm gonna try to get a hold. Yeah, get a point. Yeah, in. get right, get your face right in there, Harry. It's old, it's duckish, it's boiled overseas. Fuck! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you just scream out loud? Why do you just scream out loud? <laughs> When you don't like something. Here, have some peanut soup. Quick, let Quick, it drink, it. drink some peanut soup. Come on, where'd it go? Oh, did he throw it away? Right. All right, what is this now? This is... Uh, just drink it. <laughs> That's the duck egg oil. <laughs> what? <laughs> Harry, have some more. That's why you don't get invited over to people's uh. house. <laughs> That's why you don't get invited anywhere for dinner. The way you treat people. I'm disgusted. Now, Harry, that'll be $162.14 for the food you've wasted tonight. What? It, it, it's on my tongue. It feels like it's not going to be the same. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> We're Rod and Fez. We are going to be back Tuesday night live at 7 o'clock on 106.7 WJFK right after Don and Mike. Thanks to very much, uh, Fezzi, for our very good friends. The chairman of Too Cute. It's always nice to have friends stop by with food. It's always a good idea. Thank you. See ya. Thank you, Pink Girl, for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for uh, enjoying my food. <laughs> Thank you, Too Cute. So, Lara, happy anniversary. I hope the perfume works out for you. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Sip, 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 sip.